Hi friends, this is Leela. In the previous video, we have seen about the conditional rendering such that uh, we if, we else, and also the we show also we have seen. And also we have seen about the difference between the we show and also the we if directory also we have seen. Now in this video, we will see about the rendering. Okay, so looping over the list. Right now, what we have did is in this example, so we are entering the hobby. Okay, we are clicking the hobby and we are showing the hobbies, the static hobbies we are showing. So whatever the hobbies the user enters in the top form, so we need to display the hobbies that that are being added in the form. We need to display down. So one by one we need to display. So how we can display those items in the Vue.js? Let's try to see in this video. Before continuing to this video, if you are coming first time to my channel, please do support me by subscribing to my channel so that I will be posting more and more front end development courses. Okay, coming to this video. Now here this is the loop over, loop over right so this is the loop thing what we are trying to do okay this is the li element so here we need to show the list of all hobbies that are being added in the top form okay the enter hobby adding form if you go here here we are having the hobbies here we are having the hobbies variable in this hobbies variable we are pushing one by one the hobby one by one we have the hobby that are being added in the form we are one by one pushing here we need so we need to in order to display these all hobbies in the list form we need to loop over these hobbies one one by one and we need to render the hobbies how we can loop over this render how we can loop over this in the view js just like in the just like in the javascript we have the for loop right so same thing like that we have in view js also we have for directive that is nothing but what we can say is v hyphen for just like in the angular we have a star ng for structural directive same thing like this here we have a directive that is v hyphen for okay v hyphen for so we need to apply the v hyphen for here and we need to write the hobbies okay and here we need to write the variable so each one each element it should it will be saved in the variable so hobbies each uh, hobbies in hobby okay hobbies in the hobby so we take the take the hobby array and each element will be in the hobby so this variable is a your own whatever whatever variable you want you can keep you can h you can keep hb by hobby or otherwise you can keep hobby so i am keeping hobby like this and the variable as the data what we are storing in the hobbies array is a strings is a list of strings data so we can directly display that we can directly use the string interpolation here okay we can directly use the string interpolation here and we can display it as an hobby okay we can write here hobby Okay, in this way we need to write we can write the v hyphen for loop. So v hyphen for hobby in hobbies, and we need to display the whatever the name we are using here. We need to use this name only here for the string interpolation. Now, if we try to check the output here, if I refresh this thing, and if I try to add it reading, so reading is my hobby. If I click on adding, so here you will be able to get the reading. And if I write writing. Okay, so if I click here, so you got the rating here. Now, if you inspect element and if you see here, okay, if I refresh this thing, and here we are having no hobbies present, right? And if you go here, the div we are showing no hobbies present, right? And we are having display none. So why? Because we are show we are having v if and show I think. Okay, fine. V if and if we will write it as v if and if. Okay. Now, if I go here and if I refresh this one, so now we are we don't have the e. L I element, UL element, and this one is the Vue.js internally it uses for rendering the UL element here. Okay, it, so now what I can do is here I am adding reading here. So if I click here, immediately UL has been came and the div has been gone. Now if you inside, if you see the L I element, okay, if you see the L I element, I am writing, I am trying to add again another one, writing. Now see the L I element here. Okay, whichever the element flashes that. That, uh, that flashed element is nothing but what we can say is it is re-rendering again. Now if I click on add hobby, see only the single li, this li, second li is only flashing. If you see here, the li only is flashing. And the first l, uh, first the l, first li reading is not flashing. So why? Because it is not re-rendering the first element. It is, it is rendering only the second element. So this is good in the performance. Why? Because reading and writing is already added. And now I am, when I am adding another one, so only this one has to enter. So again, re-rendering all the three items means this could result in a bad performance. Okay, now if I click on add hobby again, see only the third LA is flashing. That means only the third LA is re-rendering. Is rendering. So top two are not rendering again. Okay. So this is the thing 
uh, that is that will be happening here and now if i go here and if i check here okay once again if i try to check and if we check here so now if we go to the output here and if you want to print the index okay index of the thing so index means how we can do is so we can keep the brackets here and i can write here something like comma index okay so if i write the comma index here so now we can print hyphen index okay i can write the index here hobby comma index now if i go and if i print if i try to so i can close this one and if i refresh and if i write reading if i add here see reading of 0th index so if i write writing writing of the first index okay we can get the index of the looping variable looping variable by using like this hobby comma index okay now if you see in the app.js so the hobbies is an array okay we can also loop we can also use the vfn for loop for the objects also for example here i have something like user details so user details i have an object of something like first name of Leela, okay my name and the last name so i can keep web dev i can keep the web dev and i can keep the age also age 34 okay I can keep the age also. So this is these are the user details. Now we can loop over this user details object also. So not only the array, we can also loop over. You can also use the vif and for loop to loop the object also. Now if we go here and if I write the ul element, okay, ul class is equal to list hyphen group, and here in the li, okay, class is equal to List hyphen group hyphen item. So don't bother about these all class names as it is the bootstrap classes, as they are all bootstrap classes. So it comes with the bootstrap classes. So I am not uh, focusing much more under the bootstrap, just I am writing the class names also. Now li class is going to list hyphen group hyphen group hyphen item. Is there right? Now we can loop over this vi hyphen for now we have the user details. Okay. So I can write here user in. Okay, I can write like this and i will try to print the user here okay i am trying to print the user now if i try to check the output here what will happen See here leela webdev and 34 so i am able to get the values of the object so remember values of the each property okay values of the each property here the values of the each property i am getting now what i want what i wanted is i want i want to display the key also okay the, the object for each property key also I need to display so how we can display is same scenario so you can have here comma you can keep key and here i can show something like key colon like this key colon user i can display like this also key colon user and i can display like this and if you loop over if you if I refresh this page see first name the key and the value key and the value key and the value i'm able to display the key and the value both the things i'm able to display okay so in this way we can loop over the objects also so if you want to get the index if you want to get the index if i want to display the index so what i can do is here what i will what i will try to do is here i can go and i can add a third argument something like this index okay so in object it will take the third argument also and i can write here index now if i try to refresh here so if i refresh the page now here you will be able to see the 0 1 and 2 so i am able to get the element index also so object each key index also i am able to get so now in the object you can able to get the value you can able to get the key and also you can able to get the index also for the object okay in the array you will be not having the the key itself you will be not having the key key itself is the index okay so these are the vfn for loop so for looping over the array and also index and using the for loop we can also do another thing what we can do is for example here I can have the ul, I can have the li, okay, and I can write vi for, for we can loop over the range of numbers also. For example, num in 10, okay, num in 10, so 10 numbers. So we need to loop over the 10. So that means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, like this, we need to loop over the 10 uh, range of numbers. So I can write something like, like this also. So vi for, for vi for, for loop supports this scenario also. Now if I go here and if I refresh, now if you are able to see you are able to see the 1 to 10 see the items 1 to 10 has been displayed here so how we have used it? so num in 10 so the range of numbers 10 means 
it will display from 1 to 10 okay so in this scenario also in this way also we can use the vi hyphen for loop so this is the vi hyphen for loop for rendering the items in the qjs so we can we can loop over the arrays okay array of data and also we can loop over the object and also we can loop over the range of numbers also okay this is all about the vfn for loop in the vjs if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you